Well, I'm uh, Professor S. C. Das. I was the professor in HOD nephrology at AMS Delhi for 31 years. After retirement, I am now director of Kalinga Institute of Medical Science under the Kitt University. Well, acute kidney injury uh, which occurs, develops rapidly of a duration something between one to three months. And uh, most of the time in India it is related to gastrointestinal diseases or infection. Sometimes the nephrotoxic drugs also produce acute intestinal nephritis and acute kidney injury. We have a large number of tropical infections like malaria and uh, other infections which also produce acute kidney failure like leptospirector hemorrhage. But as I said mainly gastroenteritis, sigala and uh, uh, the other uh, like cholera they cause acute renal failure most commonly. Snake bite and other animal environments also can produce acute renal failure. There are large number of causes and chronic is something which is there for more than three months. They have a kidney failure but it extends above three years, uh, three months and the most common cause is diabetes and high blood pressure and the treatment uh, is something which ultimately requires when the chronic renal failure uh, develops up to CKD5 stage either dialysis or kidney transplantation. Unfortunately about 80-85% of our Indian population cannot get that treatment, dialysis or kidney transplantation. So we nephrologists uh, now uh, attempt to prevent chronic renal failure. That means controlling the diabetes, high blood pressure and other the nephrotoxic drug therapy. I uh, started a society called Indian Academy of Nephrology and our main objective is to, to, to prevent CKD or chronic kidney disease from India. We have done a lot of work but mainly the road shows and then uh, electronic and print media and then population screening. Uh, population screening is extremely important. At a very early stage those who have got protein loss in the urine. At that stage we can treat them better so that we can halt the process of them developing into chronic kidney failure. And we also uh, through radio talk and other things we have to um, uh, educate the society uh, how not to take nephrotoxic drugs, what, how to control the blood pressure and put in urea and also uh, many other toxic substances are there. This is also important. So we have a nexus throughout the India and they are all doing the job and we meet twice a year and we hold conferences.